Happy Monday, Jordan. Hey, happy Monday. Yeah, how are you doing? Yeah. It's kind of exciting. Yeah, it's it's good. Or should I say happy Abe Lincoln Day, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the cat, she so, could so jump good. her own thing. She could jump the old tower. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you know, spring in your snack. Except you want to talk to the neighbor about the fact that we have plenty of fancy chairs in that room right there that we can rotate and share. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's like that's all right. It's yeah, it's some it actually probably makes it easier to sit to move. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. My dogs don't play with toys. Is Melody? Is she? Is Melody traveling? I haven't heard. I wasn't going to be here. I have not heard anything. Good evening. It's my pleasure to call the February 12th, 2024 Dayton Town Council meeting to order at six o'clock. There's a sign up sheet over the front door for anybody that'd like to speak tonight during our uh, public comment section. They'll be limited to five minutes. Could we have a roll call, please? Miss Mathias. Present. Miss Pinnell. Mr. Dijak. Present. Mr. Walls. Miss Estes. Here. Mayor Jackson. Present. Mr. Seward. Present. Thank you, Miss Wade. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to meet tonight to discuss the town's business. 
we ask that you watch over our first responders and men and women of the military to protect us across this great country. We ask that you reach out and comfort those that are in ill health or despair. We pray in your name. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I need a motion to approve the minutes for the January 8th, 2024 regular town council meeting as presented. Thank you, Bob. Do I have a second? Thank you, Rob. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. We have several action items this evening. First action item is a resolution of governing body for the USDA Community Facilities Grant. The resolution of governing body is required to apply for the USDA Community Facilities Grant by adopting the resolution. The town is saying that we will abide by all agreements, documents, and forms when approved for funding. Can we have a staff report, Chief Trout? USDA said resolution over, have that done, that's part of the grant package, it has to be pretty reconciled. Thank you, sir. So I need a motion to adopt the USDA resolution of governing body for the purchase of a police vehicle. So moved. Thank you, Brad, for Mr. Dijak. Do I have a second? second? Boy, that was quick. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any discussion on this matter? Ms. Wade, maybe we have a roll call. Yes. Ms. Pinnell. Mr. Seward. Aye. Ms. Mathias. Aye. Ms. Estes. Mr. Walls. Mr. Dijak. Aye. Mayor Jackson. Aye. Motion passes. Thank you. Two down and three to go. Next action item is the consideration of award for consultant services for the downtown revitalization grant. Um, this has been going on for a long time, so I'm sure Ms. Roche would love to give us a staff report on that. Yes. Um, so the town received four responses to the RFP for the creation of a downtown master plan. Each proposal was independently evaluated and scored by staff. Pond uh, Company, sorry, Pond Consulting Company had the highest score unanimously by staff. The proposal was presented to the project management team, which accepted staff's recommendation to go with Pond. Um, staff also checked Pond's references and was able to speak with three localities who have previously worked with Pond. All three had very positive reviews and indicated that Pond was able to effectively incorporate local input, meet deadlines, and develop realistic projects. So we were very happy with all of the proposals received, but especially Pond's. Um, so it is staff's recommendation to award um, the contract to Pond. Thank you, Ms. Roche. So I need a motion to approve the award Pond and the company, the contract for the downtown revitalization grant not to exceed $50,000. So moved. Thank you, Mr. Bradford. Was that? Wow. <laughs> I know it came from that way. Thank you. Uh, do we have any discussion on that? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Motion passes. Did I skip that? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Skipped over my own agenda here. So we're going to go back to item B, which is the uh, consideration of a compensation study to ensure the town maintains competitive edge. Um, it is a very difficult climate out there for hiring. Um, we want to make sure that the staff members that we have um, are compensated uh, as they should be. So we've talked about a compensation study for really several years now. We've done um, where we've reached out to other municipalities to see what they're paying their different people. But we've really never gone into an in-depth comp compensation study. So that's what this is about. Um, would you like to give us a, a staff report on that, Mr. Bourne? Sure. That. Mr. Mayor, uh, yeah, this is this is 
bringing in a company that will look at all of our job descriptions, the, the grade scales. It will do a complete study of uh, the compensation package that we provide for employees. Uh, the last town um, study was done in 2018, so this one needs to be revised. Typically, they're done every couple of years, if not every year, in depending on the market. Uh, so staff and uh, personnel committee recommend that we authorize the Berkeley Group to conduct the compensation study for the town of Dayton at a cost not to exceed $19,000. <clears throat> so I need a motion to approve the Berkeley group to complete the compensation study with the total not to exceed $19,000. So moved. Thank you. Well, oh, you're just right on top of this tonight. Thank you, sir. Bob got the second. Do we have any further discussion on this? Roll call, please, Ms. Wade. Mr. Dijak? Aye. Mr. Walls? Ms. Mathias? Aye. Ms. Estes? I'm going to abstain because um, I didn't have this information until just now, so I'll pass on this one. So I don't care for them. So, yeah. Mr. Seward? Aye. Mayor Jackson? Aye. Motion passes. Thank you very much. All right, this next action item is the consideration of adding an additional public service, um, public works um, employee. And this is position is already in our organization chart. Um, it is it was not funded last year with the um, we had our public works uh, supervisor left to go to another municipality, uh, our water treatment plant operator has graciously agreed to uh, step into that position. So thank you. Um, we have hired one employee already. That employee has basically taken the spot of what Adam Meek's position was, not that title, but that spot as far as the number count. So this that we're talking about now is for an employee who is already in our organizational chart. It's just, it was not funded in the last budget. Do you want to give a staff report on that, or did I do that good enough for you? No, that's fine. <laughs> You're good. That's great. It's it's just kind of backfilling the position that Adam left. Jennifer is working in two positions, water and public groups. So this is backfilling with the position of a little bit. That's all it is. Thanks, sir. So I need a motion to approve the hiring of an additional staff member who is on the organizational chart but was unfunded. So moved. Thank you, Mr. Bradford. Ms. S is second. Do we have any discussion on this? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Motion passes. The next action item this evening is the consideration of the implementation and revision of several personnel policies. Uh, can we have a staff report on this? Sure. Uh, and I'll, I'll go through this and I'll defer to Chris Stone on some of this. <laughs> That'd be tag team on this one. Um, we are looking at revising several personnel policies, uh, one being the snow removal policy. Um, this kind of sets some standards for snow and the, the overtime that might be required for that. Uh, it sets um, hours they can work, mandated breaks, uh, kind of how when they're called, the notification process. It just sets things, um, the expectations or here in writing for the employees so that they're fair across the board and we don't waver on that policy. Um, the next one is the com compensatory time policy. Uh, previously, Virginia did not allow comp time. However, the laws have changed. Um, this is a policy that, uh, you know, you work 40 hours, anything over 40, you have an option of taking as time and a half comp time, 
or time and a half overtime. This is for only um, non-exempt employees. Uh, they are the only ones eligible for the comp time. This is looked at as an added benefit to the employees. It could also realize an overtime savings uh, in our budget. So there's benefits on both sides. It just gives them an option of extra time off or paid time. Um, any questions? I'd be happy to answer as, as we go along. Uh, we have a nepotism policy. This just spells out exactly uh, who, as a family member, can be hired uh, or can not be hired, more specifically. If you are in a supervisory role, uh, you cannot have a family member that she would supervise. Uh, if it's a family member that works in a completely different department and you have no supervisory duties over them, then that would be fine. But this just spells that out for everyone so that there's no misunderstanding. And then the uh, PTO accrual rate, we are just kind of cleaning, cleaning this up. This was something that was brought up in the audit was things that were done, but we just needed to formalize it in the form of a policy. So this is one of those audit statements that we're just doing some housekeeping. Kristen, did I leave anything? Don't think that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Bourne. So I need a motion to adopt the snow removal policy, the compensatory leave policy, the nepotism policy, and the revised PTO annual accrual policy. So, thank you, Ms. Estes. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you. Any discussion? I'd just like, for the record, to show that personnel committee did meet and review all these, and we did recommend that we bring them to council. All right. So, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? The ayes have it. The passes. Would you like to do a roll call for Mr. Pinnell? For just this one or for all of them? Just this nope. one? Would, well, oh, for her you don't need a roll call for her being yeah. present. Ms. Pinnell? Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> All right, so the final action item for this evening is the approval of the street names for Dayton Crossings. Uh, we actually approved the street names at the last meeting. Um, unfortunately, one of those names was used elsewhere in the county, therefore we can't use it here. Um, so we did uh, go to our resident historian and uh, <laughs> get another suggestion. Um, so I'd like to have a motion to replace Rubush Street with Kiefer Street. Sure. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. It. How about replace the uh, Kiefer Street with Rubus? <laughs> yeah. So moved. Thank you, Miss Estes. Thank you, Mr. Bradford. <laughs> Boy, that was a lot harder than it had to be. Uh, any discussion on this? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? The motion passes as well. Um, oh, we, we had oh. comments. Falling down on your job. <laughs> Struggling <laughs> so it's nice to see, we have three uh, students with us tonight that are going to come up and speak to us about uh, what they're learning in their <laughs> civics classes. It's 10 minutes, so I hope you all practice. <laughs> we have to be here until 8, then the teacher tell you. <laughs> Jake, uh, Josh. Josh, uh, Jordan, or is it? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Jordan. Oh, yes, Jordan. 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 There you go. We're like, what? Okay. Fair enough. Nope. Yeah, I'm right there with you. So, for those of you who don't know, I'm speaking tonight at our Chicago Club on your first talk. Robert asked me to come up and speak last month, and I chose not to. That was out of line. I could have spoken. Oh. I want to say a special thank you to Chief Trout and Officer Hebner for their assistance during the Charlie Officer Trout's passing. 
open with the funeral procession through town. Especially appreciate Chief Kraut for his attitude. Was awesome. Um, throughout the process, mostly by text message, scheduled trip to Colorado, his replies, need, give me a call, whatever. Really appreciate that. Uh, I wanted to come in tonight and say I'm not going to interrupt anything. I watch, learn how y'all do things. If there's anything town council, let me know. We'd love to work with you. I'll in the past, I've run into the town council that's asked for water management, that if there was a major fire, that the water affect their budget negatively. So if there's anything there, we'll work to our best of our abilities. I'm here to build friendships and partnerships, whatever they may look like. So thank you. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. We will now move on to staff reports. Mr. Bourne. <laughs> I'm up again. You know, your money tonight. Yeah. And I, well, in addition to what's in, in the there, I, I have a few items I'd like to, to go through. Uh, first of all, for uh, happy Lundi Gras to all of you. Mm. Tomorrow's Mardi Gras, a big day, but uh, today is Lundi Gras. And where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> He is a Louisiana resident. I usually bring beans, but it's not hard. Right? <laughs> uh, anyway, um, the um, let's see. I attended my first uh, Harrisonburg Rockingham uh, Metropolitan Planning Organization meeting, and I've also had their orientation completed. That as a new board member there. Uh, Later this week, I will be attending the uh, Virginia Local Government Management Association conference that will be in, in Roanoke. So I'll be attending that and hopefully doing some networking with other management officials there in, in local government and around the area. Uh, the budget meetings with our with the departments for the fiscal year 25 budget are complete. I think things are going well. Staff is uh, it's been very very helpful. This has been a team effort compiling the budget and the uh, CIP that uh, will be presented to the planning commission and council. It's a joint meeting. It's council will be joining the planning commission meeting on Thursday, February fifteenth, for that presentation. Uh, so that I'm looking forward to that. Uh, hopefully I'm ready, right, Chris? <laughs> Wait, sure you did. <laughs> uh, I'm can still not convinced. Can y'all record that for me? I've got to work. Can y'all like do it like how we're doing it in here? Like be, save it for me? Yes, because it's a council and planning commission and CIP, it will be recorded. All right, so planning commission meetings typically are not, but for this, it will be. Um, let's see, all of the interviews that I, I were, were wanted to do with staff were all complete. Those went very well, very pleased. Uh, you have a great staff, by the way. They're wonderful staff here. Uh, met with Sally Wolf Garrison from the Rockingham County Commission uh, this past uh, month, uh, later, later before, the day before the Bucky's round breaking <laughs> action, which I attended. That will be an amazing facility. 75,000 square feet, 650 parking spaces, and 120 gas pumps. Wow. <laughs> it's one of their prototype facilities, from what I understand, is the biggest. That's, that's going to be amazing. That was a very well attended groundbreaking. The governor was there, uh, the secretary was there, and a few other people from around there area. Uh, just to go through the schedule, like I mentioned before, we have a joint meeting with the Planning Commission on the 15th to uh, present the, the CIP, that's the Capital Improvement Projects. On um, March 11th, we have the fiscal year 25 budget work session that will be from 10 to 3 with the Council. 
And then after that, in between March 21st, sometimes in between there, around the 15th, there will be a, a adjusted budget and meeting with the finance committee. And then we'll take that uh, March 21st, will be the CIP bringing that forward to the planning commission for a recommendation to council. Then on April 8th, we have the uh, fiscal year 25 budget public hearing and approval of the budget amendment that's needed. And then on May 13th, we'll have the final budget uh, before the council for your consideration. That leaves us a little time there if we have to do any kind of adjustments for the junior. We have to have it done by June. <laughs> it's always nice to have a little wiggle room. Yes. <laughs> and that's that's all I have. I'm happy to answer any questions. Thank you, sir. Chief Trout for police report. Well, Mr. Mayor, Council, do you have a report? Uh, do you have any questions? Answer it. Uh, Mr. Mayor, Council, do you have any questions? Answer it. Um, I did have one section in there in officer recognition. It wasn't mm -hmm. added in my report because I didn't know about the board at the time. So uh, I just want to present the officer of the uh, Chief Officer of the Year and Investigator of the Year. Um, so this year's unique, the same officer got both awards. Don't have to do one little write up on the officer. Okay. Nice. Um, so Officer Urban uh, came to us about 16 months ago, and um, He's had 41 and a half years of law enforcement. Uh, he's been phenomenal since he's been here. He's a great officer. Um, something that other officers have tried to do work hard and does above and beyond what is actually required. Uh, um, for, for traffic safety aspect, he investigated 15 crashes. Um, he made 800, over 800 traffic stops. Uh, as far as the investigator of the year, he had over 35. And since he investigated 12 reportable state police or FBI statistics um, with a 100% parent rate. Mm -hmm. uh, and of those, uh, with nine arrests involved in that. Uh, so, uh, officer, and goes above and beyond. Come up. Here you go. 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 Speech. Congratulations. Speech. <laughs> wow, well, thank you. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Chief. <laughs> she, she even comes out the cones of the cop. I give her credit. There you go. <laughs> Dedication. Thank you, Chief. Mr. Bowman. Thank you, sir. Mr. Dijek for Economic and Community Development and Finance. Sure. Yeah. Uh, great. Uh, uh, we met uh, last week. Uh, so, again, the positive uh, vibes here in, uh, in Dayton. We're excited for the downtown revitalization grant. And just since we've got some uh, folks in the audience here, too, the uh, for uh, TA, you probably, we, we went through a whole list of things that we approved uh, just a little bit ago. One of those is pretty important was the downtown revitalization grant for consulting services. In other words, our lovely little main street here in, in Dayton, uh, we're actually, we have a team here, actually two of who members are here, uh, Cheryl Line and, and Sam uh, uh, Lee. So we're excited to, to move that forward. And what that'll do is draft a master plan to help us get our, uh, you know, ideas on paper and be able to make some progress there on downtown building, you know, doing different projects and helping, you know, uh, stores kind of position themselves, talk about branding, marketing, all that good stuff. So it's a really comprehensive uh, project and credit to uh, staff and, uh, you know, Maggie in particular for getting that forward and a uh, great project management team. So we're excited, good things ahead here. And, uh, and I think we're excited for that consultant, good pedigree. Uh, they were the uh, least expensive, the uh, quickest turnaround and uh, most responsive. So I think we're looking forward to that. So anyway, that's, uh, so that's all good. And in fact, um, we did meet, uh, and I think Susan, let me know if I'm forgetting anything too, but we had the, uh, uh, we talked a little bit about that. We talked about, uh, we've got our wayfinding signage. I know is going to be finished up here shortly with the gateway signs. So thank you, Maggie, for uh, continuing to work on that. Um, and then the 
Uh, the other thing uh, we are uh, working on is uh, uh, staff has brought forward some uh, changes or, or suggested amendments to the uh, food truck uh, and vendor policy and special event policies. Uh, so we're going to plan to have a, a committee meeting, uh, sort of have a public uh, input session uh, in uh, early March to talk about that, uh, those potential changes, as well as just give an update on the uh, downtown revitalization uh, policy uh, uh, plan. So looking forward to that. So that's a uh, I think that's community development and uh, finance. I think uh, covered it. Apparently, that's the budget season. So uh, <laughs> just roll right in. So for uh, for everyone's benefit there, for uh, TA students, uh, lo local government runs on a fiscal year, which starts in July, which means basically it's always budgeting. So <laughs> we're either <laughs> drafting it, adopting it, or auditing it. So uh, right now, this is the months leading up to that. Uh, and thank you, uh, Ms. Hall, our, our wonderful treasurer, uh, for going through this round. And uh, we'll look forward. Stay tuned. Thank you, Mr. Dijak. Uh, Mr. Sims, you're up. Thank you, Mr. Chair. That we have such a good police force and such a good public force, we didn't meet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what, six months, months now? <laughs> your, your time's coming, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> Mr. Walls for Parks, Recreation, and Beautification. We did have a meeting back on January 7th. Talked about a few things. Um, finished the Greenway Trail Lights, working on the Silver Lake Nature Trail, and then Jennifer is going to revamp and improve the, the landscaping beds throughout Dayton and then try to create a better maintenance plan for it. And then lastly, I just seen your uh, email. Did you want to say something about that? If we are ready to. Feel free. Are. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> So some of you may have been wondering why we haven't announced a date for the muddler yet. And that's because the muddler is not coming back, but we are replacing it with a brand new 5K event. And we are partnering with VA Momentum on that. And I did just get the green light from them this morning that it looks like September 21st is going to be the date of the new event. So details are still being worked out. We're still trying to come up with a fun theme and a fun name, but that's the direction we're going in with that. So... Thank you yeah. for that. And there was a variety yeah. of reasons for that. Yeah. It was very uh, uh, intrusive to the staff, caused a lot of work there. The, some of the stuff that we used for the events were starting to break down and need to be replaced. And we felt this would be better for the local businesses where maybe they're not, people are not as dirty <laughs> and, and they actually spend more time inside our town. So, a variety of different reasons. So we figured we we try and see how it goes. And it would also be the it would be the same date as our last mm -hmm. um, summer concert series. Yes. So we'll have it at that time, and then right after that, we'll go right into the uh, series, and we'll have uh, some food trucks and mm -hmm. stuff like that there as well. So mm -hmm. um, it should be a uh, a, a positive event, mm -hmm. and I would think it'd be well attended. The the other thing that we talked about that you didn't mention is now that we have electricity out on the greenway, and we've talked about this for a couple of years. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. I, I, I don't want to steal your thunder. No, no, no. I didn't forget about it. Thank you for correcting me on that. But we got the lights up there on the greenway. We also have electric there where we can actually put some nice Christmas decorations up mm -hmm. in that greenway during that walk. Yeah, and it'll be open to organizations and businesses and residents if you would like to sponsor a Christmas display over there. If anyone's ever been to Stanton's Holiday of Lights tour at Gypsy Hill Park, it's going to be kind of similar to that. Smaller, but similar. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Bob, for that. For <laughs> and Miss Mathias for personnel. We did meet. Uh, we met on the 31st, if my recollection is correct. And we discussed the multiple uh, policy clarifications and Melody and I were able to get feedback um, and uh, recommendations on some wording and, and what we thought and to move it forward. So that was really the gist of it. And there will be some more items coming too that um, are in the works and being looked at. Uh, that was pretty much the gist of it. Everything was covered with the Brian's report and with our vote. Yeah, I think I covered it. I think we covered. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much.
any other council members have uh, comments? Yeah, as uh, Bradford said, it's nice always to see people out here. Um, you know, you guys are required to to come out for your uh, for your classes, but it is nice to uh, to have you come out and kind of see you know what it is. Um, you know, we we go through a lot of things that uh, are up here. Some of the stuff is just procedure stuff that we have to do as far as at the beginning of the year, there's, you know, we have to reassign people to different committees and things like that. So that's just the kind of stuff that just happens. Um, the other things are the action items that are like we did, you know, renaming the street names at the last month. And then, you know, you think you got it done and then you find out that uh, you got to change. So, you know, we have a roadmap, but we oftentimes have to go back and readdress that roadmap as we go. So do you guys have any questions? I, how did I know that was going to be your answer? <laughs> That's where he's going to tell you it's your turn to speak first. Right. Oh, I, I already told him. <laughs> Any unfinished business this evening? Any new business to discuss? I need a motion to adjourn this evening's meeting. Do I have a second? All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Meeting adjourned. <laughs> Not at all. Mm -mm. <laughs> I know. <laughs>